tools you're going to need to repack this eight gallon a minute uh, mud dog pump are going to be ratchet, eight millimeter Allen wrench, reverse pliers, and a standard screwdriver. All right, we're going to go over real quick how to change out the water seals on an eight gallon a minute mud dog. This will be uh, for the TSF. 2021 general pump. It's the same pump on our hot water and our cold water unit. Uh, we're going to start here at the skid and then we'll transfer over to the bench where I have a pump uh, torn apart. So the first thing you're going to want to do is disconnect your uh, water inlet assembly. We're going to take out the eight bolts that hold the head of the pump on. That's going to be a number eight Allen wrench that you're going to put in there. All right, we're going to remove all eight of these bolts and then we're going to pull the head off of the pump. Now we're going to switch over to the bench and I'll show you a disassemble pump. So we got the head of the pump removed. I've already pulled out the old seals that were inside of it. Uh, this, is a new, this is a new pump. Um, when you take everything out, I typically recommend putting everything down in the order that it came out. It'll just help you give a uh, reference of which direction to go back in. First thing we're going to put back in is our packing retainer. It's going to sit flat against the bottom of the head of the pump. The uh, arched area is going to be up. We're going to just set that in there. Next thing we're going to put in is our high pressure seal. The groove side is going to go down into the pump. Now when you do this, you're going to want to start on one side and you're going to have to work it around. You may need to use a screwdriver, uh, kind of like a shoehorn, to help push it into place. I've got a flat screwdriver here. We just want to make sure that we're not going to do any damage to the edge of the seal itself just work it work it with your thumb and then let's make sure that seats all the way down into the head of the pump next piece that's going in is your spacer it's going to sit right down on the on that high pressure seal next we've got a brass intermediate ring here it only can go in one direction small side down going to work that make sure it seats all the way down in there all right now the first piece that came out of the head of the pump is your low pressure seal okay it was in like so we're going to remove it put the new low pressure seal in when you do it the open side is going to be facing you the flat side of the seal is going to go into the brass so we're just going to push that down Make sure it's all the way in there, and then we're going to replace it in the head of the pump. When you push this down, let's go nice and easy. If you need to put some oil around this O-ring, let's do that so we don't shear it off. Make sure it's lined up, and then give it a push, and it should sit flush. So that completed the packing for one of our pistons. We're just going to repeat. Packing support ring all the way down. Our high pressure seal. Sometimes these can be tough to get in, especially if it hasn't been in a pump. Our spacer. Grass. Uh, something that'll be handy is a pair of reverse pliers. When you push them, they put tension out. I'm gonna actually have to use this on this one to help get that one seated down in there. You can pick these up at any auto parts store. I think we typically get them from O'Reilly's. They'll have them. pressure seal back in our packing retainer. 
two, and now we'll do the third chamber. And go. Alright, now that all three chambers have been rebuilt, we're just going to line our holes up with our plungers. And then you're going to push on, and it's going to take some force. It's a little bit easier because uh, the pump is going to still be mounted on your skid, so you've got some resistance to push against, but you just want to give even pressure, and we want to get the head of this pump completely up against the crankcase before we start putting our bolts back in. All right, so we've got it up, and now we're just gonna go back with all eight. If you're using uh, uh, impacts and things like that, that's fine, but, go, but make sure you start by hand so you know you're not cross-threading anything. Whether you cross-thread thread something into this aluminum crankcase, it's uh, not good. So all of those have started. Tighten these back down. You want to tighten, uh, you want to cross your uh, middle four, and then we're going to do the outside. Just we want everything to pull on nice and nice and straight. So one. Move to the outside. And then I'll usually just go back with the actual ratchet and give them just one more just making sure all eight of these are nice and snug and you're ready to go what size is that eight millimeter Go over all the sizes one more time. Huh? The sizes of all the tools. All right. Actually, let me pause it. So 